Hey guys, welcome to my channel Stock My Closet. For today's project, I have taken 2.5 meter kalamkari fabric. This is the measurement I am using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. I have cut out two lengths from the fabric. In my measurement, full length of dress is 48 inch. I have added 2 inch for seam allowance. So full length is 50 inch. And I have folded the fabric once in width. So here I have four layers. Now I'll mark the measurement. For shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 15 inch. So half of it is 7.5 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. From this point, mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From here mark half of armhole round. In my measurement armhole round is 15 inch. Half of it is 7.5 inch. I am deducting half inch as this is sleeveless dress. Mark 1 inch inwards and again join it to the shoulder slope point. From shoulder mark point at 11 inch. Shoulder to burst measurement 15 inch shoulder to waist measurement and 22 inch shoulder to hip measurement for chest i'm adding 3 inch of ease in my measurement chest round is 34 inch 34 plus 3 is 37 and dividing it by 4 i'll get 9.25 inch for burst again i'm adding 3 inch of ease in my measurement burst round is 37 inch 37 plus 3 is 40 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 10 inch for waist I'm adding 4 inch of ease in my measurement waist round is 30 inch 30 plus 4 is 34 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.5 inch for hip I'm adding 6 inch of ease in my measurement hip round is 38 inch 38 plus 6 is 44 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 11 inch. Join waist to hip and extend it to the bottom. Join these points. Adding 1.5 inch for seam allowance. I'm making panel dress and for that on these lines I'll mark midpoint. Firstly shoulder slope this is 4.5 inch so half of it will be 2.25 inch. Chest is 9.25 inch so half of it will be 4.6 inch. Burst is 10 inch midpoint will be half of it that is 5 inch. Waist is 8.5 inch so midpoint will be 4.25 inch hip is 11 inch so midpoint will be 5.5 inch bottom round is 21 inch so midpoint will be 10.5 inch now join these points Now I'll draw front and back armhole curve. Measure hip to bottom and mark the same point on the other side. In my measurement this is 26 inch. Now join this point to the bottom round with slight curve like this. So with this marking is complete now I'll cut it. I'll cut armhole curve after stitching panels and while cutting make sure you leave extra seam allowance. So here I'm cutting panels and I'm leaving half inch for seam allowance. So with this cutting is complete now I'll stitch it. 
For stitching, take one center panel and two side panels. Place side panel on the center panel. Right sides together. And make a stitch. So I made a stitch, now I'll overlock it. Similarly, I'll attach other side panels. So I've attached panels. Now I'll remark the round measurements and armhole curves. So I remarked the measurement, now I'll cut it. I've cut round shape neckline for both front and back. To finish front neckline, I've cut out rectangular piece of same fabric. Place facing on the neckline, right sides together and from the back side of the neckline, make a stitch in the neckline shape. So I made a stitch, now trim the facing in the neckline shape like this and I've also made small cuts all around the neckline. Now turn the facing towards the wrong side of the neckline. Fold facing like this. Now to secure the facing you can make a stitch or do hemming. To finish back neckline I'm using bias tape. Place bias tape on the neckline right sides together and make a stitch. So I made a stitch. Now fold the bias tape. Like this and make a stitch on the inner side. So I made a stitch, now trim the excess fabric. I'll be adding pockets in this dress and for that I have taken a rectangular piece of contrast fabric so that you can see markings properly. Fold the fabric by half. Again fold it by half like this. Now place your hand to make the pattern for the pocket. To mark the starting, keep the widest part of your hand at the beginning and mark points on both sides. Now move it forward like this and draw the pattern all around. Adding half inch for seam allowance and I'll cut it. So for each pocket, I have two pieces. 
now i'll mark starting point and end points on the dress so i'll keep starting point 4 inch below waist so i have marked 4 inch downwards from the waist this will be the starting point of the pocket and i'll just mark a tuck now keep the pocket on the starting point and mark a point at the end point of the pocket and make a tuck so this is the starting point and this is the end point now place the pocket on the dress like this and make a stitch similarly I'll attach other sides now place front on the back right sides together and stitch shoulder slope on both sides overlock it now I'll make a stitch on the back neckline in this way you will get proper finishing on the joint of the front and back neckline now I'll finish the bottom round double fold the seam allowance and make a stitch on the inner edge So I finished the bottom round and I've also finished both armholes with the bias tape as I did for the back neckline. Now I'll stitch the side fitting seam. While making side seam you need to include pockets like this. Take the seam towards the pocket. And now continue till the bottom. Now I'll make small cuts at the joint of the pocket and the dress. And with this my dress is ready and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. If you do please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. And do subscribe my channel for more such videos. And I'll see you soon. Till then take care. Bye bye.